country star Morgan Wallen was arrested and jailed in Nashville on three felony charges of reckless endangerment and one charge of a disorderly conduct. The news was confirmed on Twitter by Nashville police on Monday morning. Last Sunday night, April 7th, reports claimed that a chair fell from the chief's bar and landed, fortunately, or more like unfortunately, just short of a few feet near several police officers. Country music singer Morgan Wallen was arrested overnight in Nashville on felony charges after he allegedly threw a chair from a downtown rooftop for no legitimate purpose. Two police officers were standing in front of Chief's Bar in the city's entertainment district on Lower Broadway when they saw a chair fall from above and hit the street about three feet from them. Witnesses at the party pointed to Wallen, saying he threw the chair off the rooftop of the six-story building before erupting into manic laughter. There's even surveillance footage showing the moment the chair was flung off the bar. Wallen is no stranger to controversy and being caught on camera. 27-year-old Nashville singer Morgan Wallen told TMZ he's embarrassed and he apologized after they obtained video of him dropping a racial slur. Morgan Wallen, you may remember, was actually kicked off of SNL back in October after breaking COVID-19 protocol. He was also arrested last year for public intoxication in downtown Nashville. The police seem to agree, as the police statement on the incident put Wallen's name right next to the words, danger to the public, and his three counts of reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. While the news might be shocking for some, some fans of the well-known country felon think it's no big deal, while others wonder if his cancellation is finally coming. Multiple people were interviewed after the chair incident, and the responses are split. He's a rock star. He's trying to be a rock star. Why not? I think it's great, you know? It's cool that we have a real rock star in country music. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> And in this situation, it's awful. Like, I'm a huge Morgan Wallen fan, like huge. Yeah. And it's just very, very upsetting. Like, what the heck, you know? Crazy stuff happens here all the time. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I mean, I don't care if you're Morgan Wallen or who you are, dude. You can hurt someone, so. I think it's good music, but come on, man. I like this mugshot. I don't know, he was smiling. No, I think I'm all for it. I think all the fans are for it, too. No, the fans will support him. It wasn't canceled last time. Unless he actually kills somebody or hurts somebody, no, he's not going to get canceled. He's too big right now. Yeah, he's definitely crazy as hell, but um, he makes good music. He'll always be popular. And what do you think? Is Wallen's career done for, or is this just a new boost for popularity? With the interview, it's easy to see how canceling Morgan Wallen is most likely impossible, as his fan base would support his felonies and reckless behavior. But what do you think? Should he be canceled or is he just an OG rocker meant for the high road?